Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach, and this is another of our Success Friday videos. And we're talking about financing your business, and, and I'm starting at the beginning with sort of these early stage options, and last time I talked about an SBA loan. This time I want to talk about what's called friends and family, and that means exactly what it says. You're getting money from your family or friends of yours, and you're putting it into the business, and these tend to have lower barriers to entry and they tend not to fully fund businesses, but partially fund businesses. Now this can be either debt or equity, but I want to talk about it as equity because I want to talk about one of the bigger problems with startup businesses and equity, which is the term valuation. And valuation is really simple. It's the amount of money that the company is worth. Now, If you're starting a business, how do you know how much it's worth? And it's, of course, always a variable thing. You know, it's worth what people will pay for it. But I want to give an example of kind of what this is. And let's say you put $1,000 into the company and you issue yourself a 1,000 shares of stock. So each dollar a, sh a share of stock is a uh, $1,000. Now you sell another 100 shares to a friend. So now the business is worth $1,100 and they have 100 shares of stock or about 9% of the company. And that's where this works. The question really is, is how do you actually get around this notion of your company is now worth eleven hundred dollars and your your friend now owns about nine percent of it you know that can be quite a touchy situation because there's not a lot of in especially in startup businesses there's no this long-term cash flow or asset base which you can base a valuation on there's not a book value so these tend to be based around sweat equity and intangible assets and sweat equity is pretty simple it's the amount of work you put into a business um, for free as you're starting it up and intangible assets are all that intellectual property and all that thought you've put into how the business is going to be created and work and really that's the basis for a valuation at this stage of a company now a couple things that you can do uh, to help that is to get comps or comparable companies there's a lot of information out there that you can find to help understand what other companies in your space are being valued at so that you can then make some kind of equivalency between what they're doing and what you're offering so you can see if you're in the right zone or not now one other thing that you should be aware of in all of this is that everything should be written down and formalized yes even with friends and families I cannot tell you how many people I've known that have lost relationships because of some perceived Mis, uh, misunderstanding of how much they were buying, what it was worth, how they were going to get their money back, how this is all going to play out because it wasn't written down. And whenever you do a verbal statement, everybody hears it slightly differently, so you can't be sure that everybody's on the same page. So write it down, get it as a formal legal agreement, and then go forward to your friends and family. So this is Jim Sackman from Focal Point change your business, change your life, and have a great day.